So let's start off with, you know, uh, uh, the who. Okay, so we're going to go through the who, what, when, where, and why regarding dating with intention and what, what's important in that space, right? So let's first start off with the who, right? Who are we talking about? Well, we're talking about you, right? And so, you know, I, my first question would be, are you ready to date with intention? Are you ready to make a commitment, right? Are you finished playing the field? I get it. Do what you got to do, whatever case may be. But have you explored enough? to be able to understand maybe some of your likes and your dislikes and maybe really kind of what direction that you want to go in, right? So have you navigated through certain things um, and, 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 and you're ready to actually take the step to be in a committed relationship with a whole nother brain, a whole nother person, right? Now, should you choose, this is kind of like a little, I guess a little mission impossible with this, right? Should you choose this challenge, right? There's something that comes with it. And so people sometimes, oh, it gets on my nerves. When people say stuff like, it shouldn't have to be that hard. Dear hopeless romantic, it has responsibility. Okay, I know you know you want to trot on off on the horse and carriage. I get it, right? But we have to think about this. Divorce rate is 50% inside of the US, okay? Inside of the minority community, it's up to 70%. OK, so before we start running down the line and figuring out who we want to commit with and go ahead and lock down with that person, understand that the odds are stacked against you. OK, just because. All right. These are what these are the stats that you walk into. So we have to make sure that we understand that if you who is choosing to go forward with this, there's some responsibilities that's going to come with this and you want to make sure that you're ready.